Galen, um, listen, at the start, uh, during the anthem, there was a great shot of you with a big smile on your, fa- uh, your face at that stage. You looked like a man who was determined to enjoy the evening. Um, these games are special. Like The amount of Irish coming over to support us is pretty insane, knowing they're putting time and money. I mean, it's a big motivation for all of us. Um, I always love the bus trip as we approach the stadium and seeing well field with a few points but seeing everyone going crazy waving at the bus chanting the zombies song after and we're doing the lap um it's memories that will stay with us for a long time but also fuel us going into this week ahead um yeah it's pretty special i think there was 20 or 30 lads from my year over my brother was over for his first ever game from la so special special days for sure it's fantastic um was there a special edge about this performance though? Where did you, you dig deep to, to deliver a performance like that? Um, I don't know whether it was, it was because of Scotland, whether things that were said in the media, was it internal? Just tell us about that. Um, a couple of things I'd say. I think we've had some decent results against them over the last couple of years, but definitely felt we haven't given our best performances. Um, that first half was probably pretty close to it, I'd say. Definitely always room for improvement, particularly in the second half. Disappointing to concede those couple of tries. Um, another motivation was Pete Sundrath, what a servant he's been over the last 10, 15, 20 years, whatever age is, I don't know. But um, he's given so much to the jersey and that was a motivation for us as well to have a good performance for him, um, give him back some of what he's given to us and celebrate that with him. So it was a happy change in him after. You had the whole um, injuries and adversity thing again tonight with guys having to play out of position and um, you know changes being made and it all was a bit frantic second half. Um, you know I know Andy's talked about dealing with that as just part of what you do. How important is it to have that capability in nights like that when things go slightly awry? Yeah, it wasn't quite as bad as during the Six Nations when we had Josh throwing the ball in and Keane at least throwing a hooker. So that was that was a good test for us. But um, yeah, guys are kind of used to being adaptable at this stage. I think. Um, sort of talk about getting out of our own way and just whatever role we're given to do, we do it. Um, So I think guys adapted pretty well on the night, yeah. Um, People are looking at the injuries though now and they're thinking about 2015 when Ireland were going well and injuries affected uh, the team heading into a quarter-final. Um, We don't know the prognosis for the lads who went off yet, but um, is it a concern that that the momentum, that that there might be issues with, with injuries that will affect your chances next week? I think a big focus over the last four years has been building depth. Um, we have faith in all 33 guys who are here. Obviously, we hope the guys recover as fast as possible and are available because the competition is pretty key for during the week to give our best at the weekend. Um, but no, we're, we're pretty confident whether the guys are back or not, we'll, we'll do a job. The guys who come in will do a job. And you don't have the week off this time, like after the South Africa game, you got to like process it really quickly, don't you, um, and, and sort of come down and build back up. How hard is that going to be on sort of emotional, psychological level? Um, yeah, we'll have tomorrow off and a bit of a slow start Monday, so that will be helpful, getting a couple of sleep ins. <laughs> but it's massively exciting, so um, I think it's going to be pretty easy to turn the page and get stuck into this week. And a word on the All Blacks? They've been pretty impressive, definitely improved since we played them. Uh, we feel we have as well, and we feel we haven't showed our best yet. Um, so yeah it's going to be a big one sure is listen well done tonight fair play to you